I want to show you what uh, Justin Trudeau, uh, he wrote, uh, he made a video, and I'll show our audience, during the campaign, suggesting that, well, you're tough on crime, some of your uh, issues and some of your beliefs may via, you know, don't respect the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. Here's what he said in a video. Antino said, and I quote, who has reaped the greatest benefit from the Charter of Rights and Freedoms? I would argue that if it isn't common criminals, then it must be the hell's angels. Antino also said, I never believed the Charter was designed to invent unreasonable and truly mind-boggling schemes to protect criminals. But to a large degree, this is exactly what has happened. What do you make of that? You very, disrespect very, the Charter. That's very according. theatrical. That's, that's a great Academy performance, if I've ever seen one. Uh, those comments are taken uh, out of a book. I wish he'd have advertised the book. It's Duty, the Life of a Cop. It goes on for several hundred pages. It has uh, quite an insight into victimization and the issues uh, that are pertinent to the Charter. That's very selective, and God bless Mr. Trudeau for being so theatrical about it. This is serious business, and he's making a lark of it. He, he's saying, though, that, uh, I mean, common, exactly what he's saying, the Charter was designed to invent unreasonable and mind-boggling schemes to protect criminals. If you take it in context, what he's saying is, let's hug a thug. He hasn't been where I've been. He hasn't dealt with victims like I've dealt with victims. He's taken a small package. But is uh, the Charter part of the hug a thug he, business? He, some of it is. The interpretations, in some cases, given from the Charter that have been reversed by Supreme Court rulings. I mean, it, it's been a, a, a seesaw back and forth of rulings and counter rulings and, and, and things that have been done by courts. But, but what he's done, in essence, he's taken a small portion of what that book's all about. He doesn't talk about the murder of police officers, the, the failings of our parole system. He doesn't talk about the victimization that's also in that book. I wish he had read the whole thing. But, I mean, on that, I mean, now that here you are in Ottawa, and I, I'm not, I don't want to do a book review of it. And, well, and, no, I don't want to disparage your career as a cop. But I, I do want to say, but when you say parts of the Charter are hug a thug, that's an interesting statement. His attitude in interpreting what I've said in the fashion that he has, he's, pr he's promoting the hug a thug, thug philosophy. What he should have done... But does the Charter, just leaving aside Mr. Trudeau for a second, but do you believe that the Charter has, as he, I mean, he's quoting you, but has done things to protect criminals? In some cases, the Charter has been exploited, and, and the rulings that have followed have, in fact, benefited some criminals, absolutely. And, and is there any way to change that? What's the program to change that in your well, mind? Well, I think that the Supreme Court of Canada and other court rulings are trying to change some of the... Uh, misinterpretations that have been given as to the reason, the purpose, and the the mechanisms of the charter. So that that so, so you're saying the court. So the I, I just want to get this straight. Because is it the charter or is it the court's interpretation of the charter that's been distorted? The interpretation of the charter, as has happened in many cases, has in fact provided a great advantage for criminals. Okay. So, but is it because the charter's left the door open and how the charter's written? Are you critical of the charter or are you critical of the courts? I'm critical of the 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 consequences of the charter that has allowed criminals, in many cases, to get off and not be held accountable for the crimes and victimization. Uh, Julian Fantino, uh, 